Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here. You may be thinking to yourself that these new posters on top of my old ones with the bottom of them sticking out looks ridiculous. And while I agree with you, if you understood how much frickin' work it is to get these posters aligned so they fit in the frame all nice and pretty like they normally look, then you would understand why I really did not want to take them down. So, bear with me. This video is sponsored by Pixel Empire. Pixel Empire is a really cool merch site where you can find apparel, phone cases, and posters from all sorts of different fandoms that you can't find anywhere else made by designers from all over the world. They have some really awesome Pokemon stuff like the posters you see behind me and this Charizard shirt that I'm wearing, but they also have stuff from all sorts of different fandoms like Star Wars, Avatar, and Legend of Zelda. And if you're an artist yourself, you can submit designs to Pixel Empire and possibly have them featured on the site and make some money from it. So, if you want to head out to Pixel Empire, click on the link down in the description below and be sure to use the discount code MNJTV for a 10% off discount. Also, I'm getting really close to 400,000 subscribers, so to celebrate that, I'm doing a giveaway. If you sign up with the other link down in the description below, you have a chance to win a brand new Pokemon t-shirt that has one of the designs here from Pixel Empire. If you win, I'll contact you via email, and then you just tell me what design and what size you want, and I'll buy it and have it sent to you. So if you want a chance at a free awesome t-shirt, be sure to sign up. But now on to the video. This is a topic I'd been debating for a bit about whether or not to discuss on this channel, but I figured if I gave fair warning of spoilers, then it was okay. So in case you weren't aware, data miners of the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo recently uncovered images of what appears to be the entire Alola Pokedex, including some new, never before seen Pokemon. Now I personally hope that these aren't all the new Pokemon, since it's a lot fewer than we thought it was gonna be. But even if these are all the new Pokemon, I still think some are really awesome, so because of that I wanted to count down my top 10 favorites of the brand new leaked Pokemon. Now since these are not official reveals, and I do know that some of you wanted to stay completely spoiler free, this is my fair warning that there will be spoilers of not officially released things in this video. So if you want to avoid spoilers, I recommend you check out my video from last week, the top 10 most disgusting Pokemon. The video has gotten a lot of positive feedback and is completely spoiler free, so go check it out. But if you are okay with the spoilers, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And without further ado, here are the top 10 leaked new Pokemon. Number 10, Picapex Evolutions. So there weren't actually a whole lot of new leaked Pokemon that we hadn't seen before. Including Ultra Beasts and new Alola forms, only 29 new Pokemon were revealed in this leak. And since I'm not super into very many of them, there are going to be some Pokemon on this list that I kind of like, but not a whole lot. The first of these Pokemon that I'm not all that into are the apparent evolutions of Pikapek. It's not that I think they're ugly, it's just that I don't think they make very much sense. How does a woodpecker transform into a toucan? I don't know, it just, it just seems really silly to me. But ignoring the whole evolution weirdness, I still think the toucan looks alright. A toucan is an animal that's deserved a Pokemon version for quite some time, so it's nice to finally see one. Plus, I'm looking forward to the Fruit Loops fan art. Number 9, the Purple Island Guardian. Hey guys, so in case you couldn't tell from me calling Tapu Fini the Purple Guardian, I filmed this video before the news that came out on October 27th. So this entry and a couple others won't have the Pokemon's official names and will speculate on things that we already know. So, my bad for that. Don't hate me. We also got to see the other three island guardians to go along with Tapu Koko. However, this one just looks like a little girl in a basket, and this one... I can't even tell what's going on with this one. Where is its face? And are those its arms, or are the things in the back its arms? I, I don't know. I cannot make out that thing. But the purple one is really cool. It looks like a friendly ocean fairy princess that rides around in her little marlin-shaped submarine, which I think is awesome. I think it'd be really fun to see it fly around and then open up and be really friendly to you. I don't like it as much as Tapu Koko, but I still like it a lot. Number 8, Litten's Final Evolution. So this leak also confirmed the starter Final Evolution leaks that we got months ago, so it's nice to finally put that discussion to rest. So since the evolutions are now confirmed, I can talk about Litten's Final Evolution more freely. Wrestler Tiger here has been the subject of a lot of controversy about the fire starters being unable to stay on four legs, and I do have to agree it is dumb that they didn't just make it turn into a cool tiger. 
But even so, I don't think Angry Battle Cat here is terrible. In fact, seeing the 3D images actually makes me like it a bit more, since that battle pose is really cool. I also think the fact that it's supposed to be Fire Dark type instead of Fire Fighting makes it quite a bit more likable, since it's a really cool type combination that we haven't seen since Houndour and Houndoom. While Linton's final evolution isn't my favorite, I do admit that it's grown on me a lot more than I expected it to. Number 7, Poplio's Final Evolution. Speaking of Pokemon growing on me, I have to say that Poplio's Final Evolution has grown on me quite a lot. I used to think it was just excessively girly, but now I think it's really pretty and majestic. And if it ends up being Water Fairy, I can also see it kicking a lot of butt. I also like how its pre-evolution seemed more derpy and a bit dorkier than the others, but then suddenly it becomes really pretty. Poplio Neville long bottomed quite a bit, which I respect because I like to think that I did too. As you probably guessed by the title of this video, MNJTV has finally hit 100 subscribers! Number 6, The Water Spider. I'm normally not that into creepy crawly type Pokemon, but I think this one is pretty cool. I like how it's some sort of bioluminescent looking thing within a bubble or something like I don't know, I just think it looks really cool. I probably wouldn't get anywhere near one in real life, but I could see myself liking one on the screen of a video game. Number 5, Alolan Golem. If you don't count Alolan Dugtrio in Persian because they were revealed in ways other than the data mine, then the Geodude line is the only new set of Alola forms that were revealed in the link other than Alolan Diglett, which is pretty disappointing in my opinion since I was hoping for a lot more because I really love the concept of Alola forms. But even so, I think the Alolan Geodude line is pretty cool, especially Alolan Golem. I don't fully understand the whole facial hair edition thing, but I don't think it looks horrible. Plus that pincer cannon looking thing on the top of Alolan Golem looks awesome and I can't wait to see what it actually does. Number 4, the Spiky Sea Anemone. The leaks also included the new Pokemon that was revealed on the TCG box a little while ago and its evolutions. And I have to say, I like them. It looks to be somewhat based off a of sea anemone, but I can't be totally sure since I am not a marine biologist. But regardless of what it's specifically based on, I think it looks really cool. I love how the cute little body hides behind the fearsome spiny tentacles, and if it ends up being water type like I suspect, I think there's a pretty solid chance of me using one on my team. Number 3, Wimpod's Evolution. When I first saw Wimpod and how much of a, well, wimp it is, I knew that it was going to turn into something badass. And holy crap was I correct. This thing is a monster and I absolutely love it. It looks super intimidating and it also kind of looks somewhat like a football player, which I obviously think is really cool. Also, I have to say that while its regular coloring is a bit eh, its shiny coloring is perfect and I really, really want one. If I ever happen to take up shiny hunting, this will probably be the first Pokemon that I look for. Number two. Rowlet's Final Evolution. And of course, my favorite starter delivers with my favorite Final Evolution. The green air owl is officially confirmed and it cements its spot as my starter for my first ever playthrough of the seventh generation. I love the archery gimmick a lot and I think the green hood with the dark face really transforms awkward teen Dartrix into a badass superhero. Plus, this Pokemon being so awesome cements my soft spot for the grass starters even more. Rowl has been my favorite starter since the beginning, and I can definitely see this Pokemon becoming the Greninja of this generation, because after all, how could you not like this thing? Number 1, Salandit's Evolution. Back in my top 10 new Pokemon so far video, Salandit was in my number 3 spot, not only because I really liked its appearance and typing, but also because I thought it had a lot of potential for a really cool evolution, and I am ecstatic to say that it most certainly has one. This Salandit evolution is everything that I wanted. It looks like a cool dinosaur, keeps the badass dark color scheme, has cool flame markings on it, and appears to remain a fire poison type. This Pokemon is most definitely going on my team, and I am going to really enjoy scorching and poisoning my opponents with this awesome Pokemon. So there we have it. Those are my top 10 linked new Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon. While I do hope the games have more than what the leaks revealed, I still think this is a pretty solid roster of new Pokemon, and I am more hyped forever for the games to come out. What did you think of this video? 
Do you agree with my list? What are your favorite Pokemon from the new leaks? Let me know in the comments below! And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe for more fun Pokemon content of all kinds. Alright, that's all I have for now, so don't forget to check out Pixel Empire and sign up for the giveaway, and until next time, Pokemon fans! Gotta catch them all! Everybody, 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 everybody wants to get down.